What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL, and welcome back to another NBA High Five video with your boy. Drop a like down below because I already know you're going to love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you comment anything in the comment section to enter your name into the $50 giveaway that I do every single week on this channel. Thank you guys for joining me. As always, welcome back. I know I took off last week. It's because I was in Orlando, Florida with family, relaxing in the morning, spending time with them, not worrying about making a high five and stuff like that, you know. It's important to, you know, spend that family time and, you know, separate sometimes. Get some, you know, I still was doing lines and stuff like that, so I didn't want to overdo it and spend my entire morning on high five and then spend my entire day on, you know what I'm saying? So I was already going to be doing lines and stuff for GreenLightDFS.com, so I didn't want to overdo it and do mornings too with the high fives. But your boy is back. I am back, and uh, it's, it's time to get it. I'm sorry I left you guys hanging with these other people. I'm ready to get y'all some money. Let's get it. The high five is back. As you can see on the screen, the green light optimizer is up. And um, I'm excited for this slate, man. There's a lot of great ways to go. And I'm feeling really, really good about the first look here with the with the high five. So greenlightdfs.com to join the squad. Let's get straight into it. Starting off at point guard. Somebody I really, really love over on DK is Devontae Graham. Now, everybody immediately is going to like side with Terry Rozier and, and Gordon Hayward. And I completely understand that. Both of those guys are solid plays as well. But when it comes to the play you really want to make sure you get first, it's Devontae Graham because his price is only 4'8". He's incredibly cheap. He gets a solid bump. He averages just under a fantasy point per minute. He's projected to play almost 30 minutes. Um, so 29 to 30 is a pretty good, solid you know, guess to where he's going to end up tonight. And at 4'8", even if you round him up to 5K, that's 6X. So I love Devontae Graham here. He is a guy that I'm going to have in almost every, probably every lineup, which I only have a couple, if, if not just one. So Devontae Graham is, is in a fantastic spot, and I'll definitely have a lot of him. With LaMelo Ball has a fractured wrist. You got Cody Zeller out, so Charlotte's a good spot to take some advantage of some things. And um, when it comes to the Charlotte plays that I love the most, if I rank them point per dollar, it would be Devontae Graham, number one, two, Gordon Hayward, three, Terry Rozier, and then the other guys trickle down from there. And then Malik Monk and stuff like that is sneaky as well. All right, but I'm going to start off with Devontae Graham in the high five. At shooting guard, we have Giannis is doubtful. So Drew Holiday is going to be a fantastic play, as you can see. Green Light Optimizer has him projected around 40. Drew Holiday at 6A is a fantastic play today. Absolutely love him at the shooting guard position. Um, with no Giannis on the floor, I mean, he's obviously going to get a solid bump. I believe he averages like 1.27 fantasy points per minute in this situation. Fantastic play. Him and I got a couple more. I'm just going to go ahead and put them in and then we'll talk about them. Chris Middleton, which shouldn't be much of a surprise. And then Bobby Portis. Bobby Portis, too. As you can see, love Bobby Portis today. 31.65 projected points. Chris Middleton, almost 50. Love Milwaukee today. Even love Pat Connington. I love a lot of guys from Milwaukee today, um, and it's a great spot for them, okay? Their prices are not really reflectant of missing Giannis right now, okay? So take advantage of that. Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton, Bobby Portis are the core guys from Milwaukee that I want a piece of. Uh, Dante DiVincenzo is a little too pricey. Um, you could possibly do like Brooke Lopez and stuff like that, but I haven't even looked at his price really. Um, but the main guys you want, Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton, Bobby Portis, and then value Pat Connington. All right. Um, now, let's go to another one. I love Jalen Brown today. With Kemba Walker off the floor, Jalen Brown is always a beast. On top of that, Jalen Brown's been balling lately regardless. All right, so Jalen Brown's just found a groove. He's been playing fantastic. Then you take Kemba Walker off the floor in a plus matchup against Memphis. Love Jalen Brown here at 7-9. And he's one of my favorite plays on this slate as well. No Kemba. You guys know what it is. No Kemba. Him and Tatum really run this offense. I love both of those guys. I think they're both solid. But I'm going to side with Jalen Brown at 7-9. Um, Jalen Brown cannot be played at the guard position today. It's forward only. So, you know, with the roster construction, that's going to be pretty cool. I mean, we've got a, a good bit of guards today that we're interested in. Like Devontae Graham is a guard that we're going to want to play. Drew Holiday we're going to want to play. Um, you could go like a Terry Rozier guy at guard as well. Um, there's multiple guys at guard that are going to be interesting today. Uh, so uh, Jalen Brown is a perfect play for that forward spot. All right, and that's the high five for DK. We got Devontae Graham. No LaMelo ball. He is going to shine at 4'8". 
Um, Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton, and Bobby Portis is the core Milwaukee guys that you want with no Giannis on the floor. Uh, love these guys. Like I said, their price isn't reflecting of him being out. Bobby Portis, for sure, when it comes to point per dollar, is locked here. Okay, at 4-1, Bobby Portis is a guy who can put up like 45 points. Like he is a huge fantasy contributor when he gets the opportunity. And with Giannis off the floor, this is damn sure a good opportunity. So Middleton, Drew, obviously, and then Bobby Portis as well. Um, also, I want to mention again, Pat Connington is a solid option as well. What do I have Pat Connington projected at? All right, I have Connaughton at 27, which is a little high. I'd probably put him around 25, but the green light optimizer really wants people to take advantage of his salary here. Um, so that's why he's projected a few points higher than my gut would put him at. But either way, even if you put him at 25, I mean, he's 4'2". You know what I mean? So Pat Connaughton's a solid option. I would project it. I would project him to finish around 23 to 25, which is going to be hit value regardless. So I love him as well. Um, let's go over to FanDuel. Uh, let me clear this out from last time. Like a, like a week ago. <laughs> All right, here we go. So first things first, let's check our guys that we're interested in today. Let's check Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday is 6'8", not bad. I still like him over here. Let's see, Chris Middleton, 7K, yes, sir, thank you. Let's check Bobby Portis, 3'7", oh my God. FanDuel's pretty self-explanatory. Grab your Milwaukee because they are priced way too low as well. Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton, and Bobby Portis. Especially, Middleton is cheaper over here. Bobby Portis is way cheaper over here. I believe Drew was 6'8 over on DK. So love him over here. Uh, let's check what Jalen Brown is because Jalen Brown's another core guy I love. 7'8. So his price is a little higher over here. What was he over on DK? What was Jalen over here? Let me see. Jalen's 7'9. So he's 100 less. Jalen's still in play. I do like Jalen Brown a lot. Um, let's see who else is popping, who the Greenland Optimizer loves as a value today. Moses Brown. He has been playing very, very well. That projection is crazy high, but Moses Brown has been balling. Um, I'm going to have to bring that down, though, to be honest with you. Um, Zubak is interesting. No Serge Ibaka. He's going to be an uh, interesting option, but he's going to take up your uh, center spot. Let's see what we got here. Marcus Smart is interesting with no Kemba Walker. De oh, Devontae Graham. That's it. There's your core for FanDuel. Drew Holiday, Devontae Graham, Chris Middleton, and Bobby Portis. That is a sexy core. Damn, FanDuel is going to go crazy tonight. Terry Rozier's 5'9". Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. You definitely want to get these guys. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, I mean, the pricing is great for FanDuel over there. I mean, you're going to be able to get every single guy getting benefited today and have plenty of money left over. So I love these guys. All these guys are pretty cheap. you got plenty of cheap options. So you might end up just going like a uh, – Carl Anthony Towns at center or something like that because you're really not going to need money. You're going to be okay with spending up somewhere, and Towns is the spend up of the day, so I do like him. If you want to get off of most likely what the masses might be doing on both sites, I mean, at the end of the day, we've got some decent value sprinkled in with some core like mid-range-ish, upper mid-range-ish guys. You're going to want to like pick the right spend up, okay? So if you want to get off of a Towns here, okay, um, you can go like a Rudy Gobert, a Jason Tatum, Kawhi Leonard. These guys are solid options as well. Also, you could also run back the Milwaukee with no Giannis down low defense with Sabonis. That is interesting GPP run back of Milwaukee because you're obviously going to have run Milwaukee players regardless, right? You're going to have Milwaukee in your lineups, GPP or cash. You're going to have them. Running them back with Sabonis is definitely interesting. How much is Brogdon? Brogdon's 6'9". So, yeah, it's definitely an interesting way to go. Let's check Yahoo. Let's go over to Yahoo real quick. Let me clear this out. All right. So let's start off with our core that we have. Let's go Drew Holiday. How much are you over here? 24. Let me just go through everybody. Chris Middleton, 31. Oh, hold on. Devontae Graham's 13. He's locked. Um, how much is Rozier over here? Rozier's 24, same as Drew. That's a tough decision. Um, I'm going to side Drew with no uh, Giannis. It's a huge, huge bump there for him. He has a higher point per fantasy point per minute average by like 0.20. It's a, it's a good bit. Um, Chris Middleton's 31 over here. Who else am I missing? Jalen Brown. How much is Jalen? Oh, 36. Damn, Yahoo. So one thing I've noticed is Yahoo definitely prices these guys fairly solid sometimes. Like sometimes you come in and both the other sites, you've got obvious plays, and then boom, they're taken away here. Let's check Portis. 
Now that's a misprice. 11 for Bobby Portis. Yes, sir. So that's the core we'll go with. Devontae Graham, Drew Holiday, and Bobby Portis over on Yahoo. Bobby Portis is a 100% lock along with Devontae Graham. Don't overthink it at all if you're playing on Yahoo at all. Devontae Graham and Bobby Portis needs to be the first two people you lock in, and then you do other things around that. All right? So that's it. Let's talk DraftKings. First off, high five for DraftKings. Devontae Graham, Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton, Bobby Portis, and Jalen Brown is the high five for DK. On FanDuel, our core, Drew Holiday, Devontae Graham, Chris Middleton, and Bobby Portis, especially Bobby Portis and Devontae Graham at their super low prices over here as well. And then on Yahoo, the core, Devontae Graham, Drew Holiday, and Bobby Portis. Devontae Graham and Bobby, Bobby Portis once again being the must plays in this situation. All right. Thank you guys for joining me as always. GreenlightDFS.com. I'm excited to be back, man. I'm glad to be back and do, be doing these high fives. So y'all buckle up. Y'all, you know, drop a like down below for your boy. And I'll see y'all tomorrow at the high five. Appreciate you guys. GreenlightDFS.com. Join the squad. Good luck tonight. Let's get it. I'm out.